In this next video, we're going to look at some of the formatting options within Project Tracker for our S curve. So now that our curve has been produced, we can see we have uh, some lines and some data in the data table. So if we want to look at these lines first of all, uh, they're managed from uh, this menu option here. So our red line is our actual line, our green is our forecast to complete, and our blue is our baseline. So we can see that we're tracking below the baseline, we're high, behind program, and we're going to finish late, which is summarized in this uh, section up here. We can turn off any of these lines if necessary, change the color, the width, and the line style. So there's full formatting options. So as well as the, the basic actual line, forecast line, and baseline line, we could bring in our early dates line, our late dates line, and earn value lines, which we'll deal with shortly. We can put on uh, curve markers and uh, line markers. Uh, and you can see that these are currently uh, monthly, and all the data is currently monthly. Uh, from the Format tab, we can change the x-axis slice to, uh, to go to weekly or to daily if we require, be quite busy when we do that, but uh, if it's a shorter program you have the ability to do that. We can also introduce uh, milestone names if required, uh, which will put the dates when the milestones are due to happen with any slippage that uh, has completed. If there's too many milestones we can just use a filter on activity codes to uh, reduce the number if necessary just to key milestone date so optionally you can place uh, milestone labels on the curves as well some options from the home tab uh, this is purely a dur duration based s curve at the moment so counting each activity uh, as the same based on the duration of them you've got a variety of different options here uh, so the most used would be a cost curve, which gives us a different uh, profile, depending on where the costs are in the project, and a resource curve, uh, depending on um, the amount of labour that's been used against plan. So there's three main options there, which is percent complete, cost or resource. The others will be dealt with in uh, separate videos. The, uh, currently we're displaying data in days, this could go to weeks if necessary, so the whole program would show uh, data in weeks if required. And you have the ability to change the font if you require. So that's some basic uh, formatting options. The other one that probably people use the, the most would be uh, the what goes in the data table below. So that's from the Format tab. You can see here we've got the option of turning on and off different axes and things like that. Uh, the left axis is the cumulative progress percent. So in the right axis we could put a period percent if we wanted to. Uh, so here that's telling us in one month that sort of the maximum we're going to be doing is 27.7% of the program. And this could be switched to units as well. If we were using a resource graph and we want to look at the amount of manpower or resort man hours or cost, so if this was a cost graph, these figures would show us cost values uh, over here. And similarly, cumulative units would show us the uh, cumulative spend on the project. So that's the, the y-axis. And in the x-axis, uh, which is down here, Let's just flip that back to a duration graph. So format data table and then in the data grid rows we can uh, add uh, as much information as we want really. So we might want to add a period actual unit. So maybe if we wanted to see the actual cost if we flip to an actual uh, cost graph uh, we can optionally change the text there. So if we wanted that to be actual cost maybe. So you have the ability to create uh, data on uh, basic curves and earn value which we'll come on to in a separate uh, video. So if this was now an actual, if this was a cost graph, you can see here now I've got my 
uh, actual cost per, per period up to the day to date. So we're able to uh, decide what we want to show in the data table. Other things that we can do, uh, we can uh, show end date lines which will sort of give us our plan finish and our projected finish and we could add a more complicated uh, progress legend which will add in the lines sort of try to explain to us uh, this uh, where we should be which is sort of 65 66 percent where we are which is the 48 percent and this is the slippage 3.2 weeks so basically where we are now and where we should have been at that date on the on the baseline line if you wish to you can turn off s curves just to print out the uh, the data table at the bottom and the other thing that I just want to show you in this video is the ability to include uh, bar graphs so this is uh, of duration at the moment so this is telling us how much we actually did which is the the red if you like against what we plan to do so if we flip this to a uh, resource graph for example this tells us the amount of man hours We've, we've done and what we plan to do. So yes, we're behind program because we planned 248, but we only did 168. Uh, but obviously here, um, to catch up, we're going to have to do a fair bit a fair bit more according to this particular schedule. So these um, period graphs are quite useful uh, in showing additional information and quite good for uh, period cost graphs and period resource graphs and this is all then summarized in a progress report which tells us where all the data comes from and how it's calculated so the cumulative values that go towards our cost graph so that's basic formatting the major things that people would use with regards to uh, the s-curve report